I'm so excited to leave civilization. I get so nervous though, but this is part of the adventure. Part of why I love the channel so much is because we are going to be climbing the highest peak in the Philippines. It's gonna be a group of 12 people. If it rains super hard, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be something different. Don't drive. Nice to meet you. Don't see me. Andre. Andre. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> From the rendezvous point, we drove two hours to Katapagan, where I saw my first glimpse of Mount Apo, and I was able to meet the rest of the group. This is Sheila, guys. This is Sheila. Hello. What's everyone's names? Mona. I'm CJ. Jen Jen. Jen Jen. <laughs> Laura. Maya. Rosie. Nguyen. Esther. Let's enjoy this. <laughs> I'm here with Emmanuel. He's the person I contacted to organize the trip. I'm Manny here, owner of Sakatabai. We're organizing hikes in Mount Apo, Nipponon. If you want to live your adventure, reach out to us. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Just search for Sakatabai. Right now, we're in Kapatagan, the jump-off area. The vehicle will drop you here in Pulan. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> we're all packing into the back of this truck. Riding in the back of a truck in the open air like this was a new experience and a great opportunity to take in the environment. This hike included six distinct environments. Pay close attention to how the environment changes throughout the video. <laughs> We're here now. Ooh, I like your Gatorade pouch. We're crossing the yellow bridge. This is the start of the trail here. This is like a farm town. This is where some of the locals live here at the base of Mount Apo. Soon here, the paved road will stop. It's starting to rain, so I'm gonna put my raincoat on. I was worried this would happen. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> You're looking like a weirdo. We look like Teletubbies. Thank you, Rick. <laughs> While we were walking through the farmland area, I could feel the excitement building inside of me. I couldn't wait to leave the grip of the comforts of society and enter the space where there's no going back. <laughs> we are exiting the farm area and going into the jungle. The rain in the beginning of the hike set the tone for how this hike was going to go. It was going to be cold, wet, muddy, and challenging. It's a guava. Little guava. Hi. The wow. guava. Fresh from Mount Apple. From Mount Apple. <laughs> we made it to Basakan E Camp. The rain stopped, thankfully. Are we gonna make it? <laughs> it started raining again. At the beginning of the video, I said it would be fun if it rained, and it's true. I loved the challenge of hiking through a rainforest in the rain. I switched with Sheila. She's wearing my poncho because it's able to cover my backpack. <laughs> What's your battery percent as a person? Error. <laughs> holy, holy. Lord, forgive us. <laughs> We made it to the Tinikaran campsite. We're gonna be staying here for the night. We're going to be hiking tomorrow morning at 2 a.m. That's when we start. We're gonna be going to the summit at that time. Good morning, 1.45 a.m. Dude, last night was so cold, like, oh my gosh. My feet were wet the whole night and I kept on shivering. I don't think I slept through like a full hour. <laughs> It was at this point in the trip where I felt truly immersed and away from civilization. I took comfort in the fact that I was surrounded by new friends that had the same goal of summoning Mount Apo. I felt more than fit enough to get to the summit and I don't take that for granted. Health and fitness are a huge part of my life and I'm grateful to have been fit enough to enjoy this hike and take in every moment. They have extra. Oh! Wow. Okay, let's go. Lord, ask your guys answer that. Reach our destination safest. Lord, help us. Lord, help us. <laughs> no rain, please. Please. It's the first time I've done a night hike. 
How often do you push yourself outside of your comfort zone? I find that the more I push myself out of my comfort zone, the more I can enjoy the mundane things in life. We made it to the point where we are past the tree line. It's warm. Oh, I feel it. Oh, yeah. I put on gloves because the heat was from sulfuric vents that made some rocks hot to the touch. What will be the story of your life? Before I started the channel, I would ask myself this question often and play scenarios of my whole life in my mind. It's when I discovered drones in 2020 where I was able to start shaping a story and purpose to my life I was truly happy with. It was that shift in perspective and seeing how beautiful the world was that pushed me to start a YouTube channel focused on travel. It didn't just become my story, but part of the story of everyone I've had the privilege of meeting so far and sharing with all of you the Earth's beauty. Look at everyone else. You can barely see them. They're like specks. <laughs> there. There. We're going all the way up there and probably farther. Let's go. Let's go. You can see the sulfuric vents behind us. Pretty cool. It's getting thinner, that's for sure. Close to 9,000 feet above sea level. Those were the clouds that rained on us at the farm yesterday. Way above those now. You can see our breath, so I feel like I'm back in North Dakota. <laughs> Not long ago, I wasn't able to see the light in life. Experiences like these help me see the light in life and hope in the world. The clouds are following us. This side is cloudy and this side not. The video makes it look easy, but climbing Mount Apo was the hardest hike I've been on. I will say that what helped me was not to look up too often, just take it one step at a time. We then made it to the crater of Mount Apo. It's here where you'll find the dead crater lake. I took some time to soak it all in and enjoy it before the final push to the highest peak in the Philippines. Thank you for following me to the top of Mount Apo. Now I'm going to celebrate with a few Reese's. This marked the halfway point of the trip. And honestly, going down is harder than going up. It's going to be a two to three hour hike to the lake where we will be staying for the night. I'm pretty cold. And it's rainy and it's slippery. <laughs> this is where we start our descent. At 7,200 feet above sea level, Lake Venado is the second highest lake in the Philippines. Whoa! We are arriving in Lake Venado. I hope I can take a bath here. Ah! Oh my gosh. Welcome. Hello. Congrats, guys. I got a lifesaver down there. Guy was running past by me and then he stopped and can I carry your... No. Are we serious? Yes. Holy. That's like... That's amazing. The area of Lake Venado made me feel like we were in the jungle in Tarzan. It was wild, foggy, and the weather was unpredictable. It was the people there that provided warmth. Yo, my boy, Andre Benedict. Man, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button. The next morning, we were able to sleep in until 5 a.m., have breakfast, and prepare for the final leg of the hike. Honestly, I was missing a proper bed, dry clothes, and a shower at this point, but living without these things only amplifies the enjoyment of them when you get back home. We are leaving Lake Bonato now, but we have to cross this bridge again. It's kind of hard to reverse because it's one log. After the rain last night, it's actually submerged. We are going to go Let's into see. the fog and go to the Century Tree, which is the final major stop of this trip.
Looking back on this experience, I miss Mount Apo, the friends I made there, and the challenge of always having to push forward. We have to cross this river by going across this log. <laughs> I think about you every day. You, the person watching this video now. I want to ensure that each video you see on this channel has something you can learn from. Something you will think about that could change your life. Something that will give you the courage to go for whatever your heart is begging you to do. To chase your dream. Conquering Mount Apo and the successful creation of this video gives me confidence that I can change someone's life, reach a deeper part of them, and fulfill my own dreams. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one.